Hey, Bolt friends. Hope you're doing well. It's just after noon central time here. We have an old school Laker, John G. Munson. She is going to be going outbound to the lake. As you can see, aerial lift bridge here in Duluth, Minnesota. Fully raised, 135 feet. Conditions, you take a look at the flag up there on the right portion of the screen. Eight mile per hour gusts out of the north. And it is 47 degrees. Very, very nice conditions. A little overcast, but we're not going to complain about that. Give you a quick shot around before I get you caught up here on marine traffic, the app that I use. Well, let's take a look at what's going on, then we'll go down by the canal wall and see what's up. Here's the Munson right here. Doing just over four knots as she comes through. The aerial lift bridge is, is right here. That's where we're, we are going to be. Vessel is going to be going outbound to the lake. I've been tracking her. She was over at CN Dock loading iron ore pellets. She just came in through the Blotnik Bridge right there around Rice's Point through the Harbor Basin. And uh, she is going to be going outbound. So that should get you caught up here as far as what the vessel is doing. Give you a shot of the parking lot. As you can imagine, with better weather, more tourists, more people coming up to Duluth which is also uh, a fun thing because that means that time of the year where it's going to be good weather. I have been looking forward to that for quite a bit. Now, there's many people that have seen these anchors before. These are just put out here on display. Different type of anchors that are sitting out here. Pretty cool. This is the North Pier, and that's where we will be observing the vessel. Let's go down here and take a look at the, the canal. The water current is neutral. And we can tell that by looking up on the aerial lift bridge. You can see the, the yellow light right there in the center screen. It's just letting the captain know that the water current in the canal is neutral, so there's nothing they have to worry about navigating the vessel. Let's take a look over at Park Point. See if we got anybody out there on the beach. Looks like we have a couple people walking on those sandy beaches all the way down. Take a look down the North Pier. You got plenty of people now. They have the rented scooters that are out. So it's also another telltale sign that spring and summer is here. Well, let's take a look at the star of the show, John G. Munson, 768 feet in length, owned and operated by the Great Lakes Fleet based here in Duluth, Minnesota. She's going outbound with iron ore pellets. As I mentioned, she left uh, CN Dock. She's going to be heading to Gary, Indiana. So a little bit of a, a voyage ahead. Some additional facts about the Munson. As you can see, old school Laker. You can see that Ford pilot house there. I've always enjoyed the color scheme of this vessel. So that's something to really appreciate as she goes by. But uh, some additional facts. In 1966, a bow thruster was installed. 1976, she was linked in by 102 feet at Fraser Shipyards. And that's right in Superior, Wisconsin. Basically, if you go to the left of the screen right there, over that way is where Fraser Shipyards is by the Blotnik Bridge. 1986, stern thruster was installed. 2016, she was repowered with new diesel engines. That was done at Bay Shipbuilding Company. Capacity, 25,000 tons, six holes, 18 hatches, one rudder, one propeller. And the captain of the Munson is notorious when there's a decent crowd to do a master salute. So we'll have to see how that works out. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my boots down here. I was thinking, you know what, I can just be able to wing it with some shoes and uh, be able to go from there. So, again, you can see light wind. Take a look at that flag. There's also some flags on top of the on top of the Corps of Engineers building. Well, let's admire her as she goes out. 
I'm keeping my eye on some of the other vessels that are right now in port. I uh, saw the Mishapakan might be leaving, so I'm sure we'll see that on a future video. Keeping my eye on the PRT that's supposed to come inbound. But as you can see, she's sitting very low in the water, filled with iron ore. <laughs> Point six for the Munson, 102.9 for the lift bridge. You know, these type of vessels never get old. The old school Lakers, I just, I hope they're around for a long time. They just have the best look. Again, notice. <laughs> Master Salute kind of called that one. I think the captain saw a nice turnout here uh, just after noon. Take a look at that bow punching through the water. Give you a good look at her. Got some daylight to really look her over in a good way here. Sitting low in the water. Let me pull it back a little so you can get a contrast the water level and the vessel itself and with the forward pilot house that also means that we have the engine room on the stern of the vessel we have some people take a look at the individual right there along the railing a nice little view looking out at the people here in Duluth I don't see the door open there uh, where the engine room would be. I definitely look for that now. Well, there she goes outbound to Lake Superior to Gary, Indiana. Get a nice shot of that kick up there. Marine traffic is the same now. She's up to 5.8 knots that fast. So she's really pushing it. Well, there you go, boat friends. Another Laker in the book, the John G. We always wish him a safe journey to the captain and the crew. And as you know, I'll be out here with the, the next ship. I appreciate you. If you're interested in looking at additional ship videos, there's a few to choose from.